Hello, my name is Mike, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Today we are going to Good Neighbor. We're gonna go to Good Neighbor and follow up on this quest for Cabot House. So that's what we're doing today. Gonna find Imogene. I can't believe how callous Jack can be about his sister. Uh, <laughs> you might want to put your dress down. That's <laughs> a bit obscene. No one wants to see your old granny panties, all right? I'm just gonna <laughs> I'll walk around that. It's a bit embarrassing on her part. The third rail is down here. Good neighbor's not too far away, but we are already close to Pikmin Gallery, so we'll check that out for a little bit. Yeah, see what's at Pikmin Gallery. We've currently got the never-ending shotgun, a shotgun we never have to reload, although it does have a limited amount of ammunition. It's got about 150 shots right now, so we need to find more shotgun shells. We also have Spray and Prey, a very powerful Tommy gun, it looks like, but it... I, again, I need ammunition for this thing, too. So I've got these two weapons. Pretty strong, but they do need more ammunition. I've also got the Chinese officer's sword, which I might be resorting to today, just to conserve ammo. Boxing gym. That's not what I'm looking for, but what's in the boxing gym? An empty boxing ring? Okay. I don't have a lot of room in my inventory, but there might be good stuff here. Duct tape. Adhesive. I've always got room for adhesive. If I don't, I will make room for adhesive, because I love adhesive. Some bullets, and some money, that's decent, I'll take that. And some buff out, yeah there's some buff out in here, so... Tempting, tempting to take drugs, although probably not for the best. I don't want to get addicted to this stuff, but I'll put it in my inventory. I'm sure someone will buy it for a high price. Yeah, plenty of buff out, I found about six bottles worth of buff out in here. And a little bit of ammunition, but other than that, I think there's not much else in here, so we're done. Got some raiders here that are making life a little more, I wouldn't say difficult, well, it's obnoxious. They're dang they're dangerous to be sure, but they're really more obnoxious than anything. Raider Psycho. Not the last one though. Ah <laughs> that's where you're wrong, chump. Show your face, I'll show you what reloading looks like. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. There we go. Take one of those. Yeah? Nope, that's a legendary raider. That's gonna make life a little more tricky. Let me just heal up a little bit. Getting a little thirsty. Show your face. Come on, I dare ya. Why don't you separate from your legendary friend? And we'll see how fast I can pick you apart with my shotgun. Get down! Get down! <sighs> Did some damage! Sally Oh, come on! Really? Really? Come on. Come on now. Come on. Stop wasting my time. Um. Hmm. Eh. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I noticed that thing about to explode. These guys right here. I see you. Probably shouldn't be peeking, but... I'm tired of these guys not being flushed out. There we go. I think that was the last one. Which one of you was the legendary? You had the Nocturnal Board! It's a board that does more damage at night. Nope, not gonna be using that. And I'll take the five shotgun shells, but it doesn't seem to make up for the 20 you soaked up. You think we're gonna catch this Pikmin Psycho? The slippery bastard got away before. But Slab won't leave a man breathing after he's hunted our crew. I heard Pikmin skin hear Roy Pikmin? alive after he You're smashed him. Man. Let the rats get at him. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. Pikmin! No joke. You can't hide Faster down there forever! this asshole the better. It always feels like something... What? Whoa, whoa! You were born, Pikmin! Those were not my landmines, nor we're my grenades. You, we're gonna tear you apart, Pikmin! That's one! Alright, looks like we're going in. Guns are blazing a little bit. Come on. Hey, I think someone's out there. Playing games with me, huh? Gotta make quick work of these guys. Come on. Nope! Nice try. Nope, melee doesn't. Oh god. Oh god. Here we go. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's a good thing I don't get to reload this thing. There we go. And the guard dog. Yeah, of course. And there. There we go. That was a quick little shootout. And it looks like they were trying to bust down Pikmin's door, but Pikmin has left a bunch of traps, is what it sounds like. Either that or they tried to use traps on him. It didn't work out well. Message to Jack on this dead raider. Who is Jack, and what is this information? Seth, it's me. I found 
found out what happened to the scouts no, no, no. who went missing up near the old art gallery. Nice and quick. They're, they're dead, you Seth. Trust me. I, I'm looking no at a, of them now. a goddamn painting of hey. Cal's body. Oh, easy. God. Sorry. What the hell did I do to him? Who the hell is there? Collection. I'm afraid it's not complete yet. Soon, though. Oh, my God. Stay away from me, you psycho! Sounds like... Just like that. Hold that expression on your face. Alright, Pikmin sounds like a bit of a psychopath, but he's killing raiders, so the enemy of my enemy might be my friend. There are... It sounds like quite a lot of raiders around here, so... Hopefully I don't use up all of my shotgun ammo taking him out. That's a lovely painting, I must say. A bunch of decaying hands reaching up to a giant red floating eyeball. So down here, this must be Pikmin's little gallery, his little art show. Yeah, his calling card. Ooh, Deathclaw meat. Might be able to make some steak out of that. But let's try and focus on staying alive down here. There are raiders Pikmin. down here. And Fragmine. You can't hide forever, you sick bastard. Let's try and take these guys out. Pikmin! This isn't anything like training. You can't hide forever. Someone there? Nope. Hey, I leveled up from shooting that guy in the head, unawares. Oh boy, what do I pick to level up? So many good options. It's always a difficult choice to make. How about toughness? Being able to take a bit of a beating? I can't believe I didn't even take one rank of this yet. Ten additional damage resistance seems like a godsend. So I will definitely take that. All right, I'm stuck between raiders and radioactive ooze, so I gotta make a choice here. Be a little proactive, using up some of my good ammo, but it's fine. It's all for a good, noble purpose to make sure I don't die. Don't drink the water! No, stop it! I'm trying to grab the ammo off his dead corpse. Ten shotgun shells better be worth it. Peekaboo! Oh, uh, turret. Yes, that's gonna be a problem. And now while it's reloading, put it down. Mm, says I'm still in danger, but the immediate danger has subsided at least. You hear me? You're a dead man! Sounds like more raiders up ahead. You can't hide forever, Pikmin. There. Get a fucking pay for that! Biggest threat has been dealt with, now I just gotta clean up the rest. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> All you had to do was wait for the prey to step into the trap. Oh, I've done this hundreds of times. Think you'll be any different? I guess we'll see, won't we? Ah! <sighs> was that death? I think that was death. You guys got anything good on you? A couple of bullets. Thought you could hunt and torture our people to your heart's content? Oh. I'm trying to help him out. I don't know if I'm succeeding or not. I figured if I cause some chaos, it'll give him a chance to at least survive. Pikmin guy. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. That's one raider down. And slab. Named raider dead. I think there might be one more. No need to hide. And that's that. Did we save this Pikman person? Nope, we did not. Here he is. His corpse is underneath this one. We got his key. Sadly, we could not save Pikman. Now we're back out here in the wasteland. That was Pikman Gallery. There was somebody named Pikman in there. Might have been able to save him if we were a little more tactful about that. We got a super mutant and a wild dog over here. Yeah, let's not deal with that. We're gonna try and make our way to Good Neighbor, hopefully without dying. Mean Pastries. Okay. Don't think I've been here yet. We'll check out what Mean Pastries has to offer. Might even find a cookie. Hmm. Dead body. That's not too strange. Hello, service? I heard a cat. Is there a cat behind the counter? No. I'll take the two bullets from the cash register, though. There's the cat. What are you doing out by yourself, little kitty? Oh, are you eating your master's flesh and skin? You've picked it so clean. You're such a good cat. Not finding anything in here. Either I was already here and picked it clean, or there's just nothing in here. Either, ooh, hello. 
little safe here. Maybe I haven't been here. Ooh, finally, some decent money. Don't need that pistol, but... Okay, sure, I'll hold on to it. No? Okay. Then... Flip lighter. Those are light and got some useful components in them. Alright, a little bit of ammunition. That's not a bad place to stop by. But there's nothing else here for us. I'm leaving. Oh, I'm getting a little dehydrated from a lack of water. But that's fine. I'm not too far off from Good Neighbor now. Somewhere around here. I'm sure a settlement like that will have some water for us. Somewhere. Oh, I hear a turret. And that's probably a hostile. Yep. I'm just going to take that out quickly. Alright, and now I'll take out this veteran that came up on me while I was doing that. Oh, he's got friends. He's got friends. Let's take shelter. Nice. Popped your head around the corner and popped you down. Your friends? I'm hearing more and more gunfire. Someone else is attacking these raiders and it's not me. We are close to a good neighbor. Could it be citizens of good neighbor? Who is fighting these raiders? Well, I've got things to do! Oh, you're apparently not the only one around here. Who else is left? Haymarket Mall. What's here in Haymarket Mall? I feel like I'm getting sidetracked. I was trying to find... Good neighbor. Somehow I ended up at Haymarket Mall. Oh, you were fighting a super mutant! Okay, that explains why I heard a couple of you screaming. That makes sense. And an old corner bookstore. Whoa, 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 hold on. I hear, yep, ghouls. I see ghouls, too. Getting a little low on ammo. Again, don't really want to be wasting it. But you guys left me no choice. Okay, I got 81 shots still. Whatever's in the old bookstore, hope I'll be able to handle. And despite his critics, Thomas was widely believed to be the greatest American patriot of all time. Huh. Oh my God, this is it. This is what I've been looking for. It's a minute woman, looks like. Let's go talk to her. Hopefully she'll be friendly. I don't think I've met a hostile minute woman yet. Button Gwinnett, who are you? Hello! I am just here exploring. I'm just exploring. Looking for salvage. Salvage? Here? Oh, not that I'm calling you a liar or anything. I mean, you have the gun, so you're in charge of what's real. But there are some really important things in here. Historical things. Those are the best kind, right? You seem a little jumpy, but I can understand that, right? You're just worried about people jumping you? Only because I'm scared. I mean, you could have been a ghoul. Or even worse, a rad roach. But Abigail Adams said the great necessities call out great virtues, and there's no greater necessity than teaching people history, let me tell you. That's why I'm out here, braving the Commonwealth. Still, it's not easy. I'm more Hamilton than Burr. <laughs> well, that's a presidential joke. You don't get too many of those out here. Anything I can do to help out? Holy tricorn hats, do you mean it? Uh, sure. Do you have anything for me? I'd be glad to help. Great. So according to this receipt, there's more where this document came from. It was bought from a caravan that was spotted around the city selling Patriot memorabilia. Problem is, I don't have the Roosevelts to go there myself. But you, you look like a regular Minuteman. I'm sure you'll do fine. Do I? Between the two of us, I think one of us looks distinctly more Minutemanish than the other, and it's definitely not me. But sure, uh, maybe I'll be able to help you out with this quest later. Just put that on the side burner for now, though. Anything good in here? Anything worth taking? Yep. Nope. There is nothing good in here. I pretty much scoured it, and she's got nothing. Oh, maybe she can trade. Does she want to trade? Because I need some water. You got Make some sure water? Make leave no stone unturned. Unless it's a historically important stone, then do your best to observe it from a safe distance. Give me water, please. Did you know the nation used to be divided into 50 states? It wasn't until 1969 that we reorganized into 13 commonwealths. Ooh, that seems like some terribly bad history. I think it might have gone the other way around. First we were 13 colonies, and then we were 50 states over the course of 200 years. Have you checked out that site yet? No, and I guess you're not going to trade with me after all. Very well, goodbye. So there was nothing in the old library. What about this hay mall they were guarding? The Hayfield Mall? Is that what this was called? Let's check this out. Maybe hay Market Mall. Might be some good stuff in here. I'm really looking for water, though. Looks like I'm not finding water today. Looks like oh. I'm... Finding more fire. Oh, oh, got some raiders. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Be proactive here. Don't wait for them to come to you. Nice melee instrument, you idiot. Hey, 
Who's there? Your death. Looks like I'm not the only one using a shotgun. You probably have some ammunition I could use, right? Four shotgun shells? I used more than that to take you down, so not a net gain for me. Oh, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Who's to say I don't have an infinite amount of ammunition? Stop firing that at me, please. There's a lot of raiders in here. A lot of people need to get killed. Wozers! Yeah, we're good. Oh, hello. Can I have a friend here? Powering up. Protectron on. Duty. Activating protectrons, turning on terminals. Or, I have activated the protectrons. I have turned on the turrets upstairs. There we go. Guess I don't need the turrets after all. I'll turn those off and I'll have my protectrons protect me. Oh, here we go. Water fountain. Can I drink from this? Is it good? Yeah, I can't believe it. Uh, it's still irradiated. Well, it's not dirty water. I think it's clean water. It's radiated but clean. So, this is right. This is good. There we go. We've taken a bit of radiation damage, but now we are properly hydrated, so... Yeah, that's good. That was a good trade. A little more radiation, but now we don't have to worry about dying of dehydration anytime soon. I can put some sights on my shotgun. Now, let's not, let's not put a short scope on it, but... Uh, a circle, a reflex sight. Yeah, this is not bad. We'll give it a, um... We'll give it a circle scope. There we go. Seems like a good thing to do with that shotgun. And, uh, put a bayonet on it, because if we're using a shotgun, we might be in close quarters. Good, good. Yeah, this workbench we stumbled upon did some great stuff. How about this armor workbench? Anything I could improve on what I have right now? Maybe? Maybe. No, not really. Not a whole lot I could do with... Well, I don't have a whole lot of crafting ingredients. So, maybe not today. Sounds like that random encounter with Art and his synth counterpart is going on somewhere around here. Sometimes I can find them, sometimes they're on top of a roof somewhere and I can't, so I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to find art. I don't wanna die. Shut your mouth, or I swear I'll shut up for you. More raiders, don't really feel like dealing with it, but I don't have much of a choice. I think they're in between where I wanna go, so. That scope is pretty useful. Very useful. Ow. I'm about to kill and get killed. Yep, that didn't go as well as I'd hoped. Well, I'm back to being thirsty, and I don't have my bayonet or my scope and my shotgun. Fine. We'll start from the beginning and try it again. Good neighbor has to be close by, though. It's gotta be. Get away from me, gangrenous ghoul. I don't wanna- Ah, you- Get! Hate dealing with these things. Oh, come on, no! No, did not want to fall into that. Hopefully I'm not running straight out of the frying pan into the fire. There's mole rats or something behind me. Okay, that was a glowing mongrel dog. I'm running south, I think that's where I need to go. South is the direction that the, um... Yeah, just uh, take this out. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, we're just gonna walk around from that. Yep. Hey, I found him! Hey, how's it going? Please, you gotta help me. This guy's a synth, and he, he's gonna kill me and replace me and my family. Oh, God. My kids. Don't you dare bring them up. He's the synth, and he wants to replace me. Please. Please, you gotta believe me. You can't let that thing do this. Maybe I can, uh, run some kind of Turing test? Look, I'm on your side. I need you to tell me the truth. Maybe I can help. I'm telling you. I'm not a synth. You have to believe me. If I remember correctly, this guy is a synth, so let's just kill him. What? No! I'm normally friendly to synths, but I'll take that. Thank you. And he had the synth component. I, uh, yep. I need to get out of here. Understandably so. You're being stalked by a clone of yourself. That's probably a little unsettling. Show your face. Come on. Time's up. Just Oop, we got a legendary raider over here. I found myself in a shootout with a legendary raider. Ow. Fine, it's fine. You're mutating, that's oh he's getting flanked by friends. That's an issue. If only I had some kind of grenade, that'd be great. Oh brother. Oh brother. Oh boy, rock hard place. So many rocks in so many hard places. Got raiders, got zibians, got brood mothers from the mole rats. 
I just want to find good neighbor. Why is this so impossible? I, you guys had no problems taking care of that mole rat brood mother. How? How? They're such a pain in the butt to deal with. Look, it takes so many shots. Well, on the positive side, we've taken out a legendary raider. Had a calibrated hunting rifle. If I am not yet in combat, it increases VAT's accuracy. I don't use VAT's, that is of no use to me. My stealth is actually very good, he can't find me. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I shouldn't have picked that fight. I thought maybe, I, oh, there, good neighbor, that way, okay, good, good. Finally found good neighbor. Ooh. Dead settler, yeah, didn't make it. Might have gotten taken out by one of these super mutants. And this one right here, too. Ooh, good stuff. Yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to face you, but you guys just soak up too many of my bullets and I'm getting a little low, so good neighbor it is. Finally made it. Good neighbor. Ooh, I'm really dehydrated. That's not good. Oh, I remember this guy. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Oh, you better back off or you're gonna need insurance. Well, well, hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion. It's friend. fine, we've already what sorted it out. He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. No, we're fine, we I already sorted so this out. Cock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come Don't escalate man. this! This is me we're talking about. Oh, Hancock, please, no, we've already settled this amicably. Just uh, friendly hug, no! Now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? I'm a little thirsty, actually. He really didn't have to stab that guy. Been talk about Vault 81. Some problem there you were caught up in? Quarantine or some such? Damn, you've been around. Yeah, I got bit by a mole rat, now I have permanent mole rat disease, but I've sorted out their other problems. So, I I'm thirsty. You got water? Oh, new face walks into my store, and you're not even screaming at I need water! Polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. I'm thirsty. Everything's guaranteed to last. Until it doesn't. But I think you're a weapons salesperson, so... Probably not gonna get any water from you. Oh, you've got three purified waters. I will gladly take those off your hands. Thank you. That'll really satiate my thirst. Bottoms up. I feel better, but still a little dehydrated. That's all right. Actually, do you have any work that you need done? Maybe something I can help you out with? I do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. That, that's a lot of building for me to clear out. I don't know if that's enough funds for me to be able to do that. You got a good point. We'll make it uh, 250 cash. Nice. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's not just the cost of ammunition. Danger means a doctor's fees. Look, I've been shilling deals for two centuries, and you just overplayed your hand. <laughs> the job's 200 caps. Take it or leave it. Okay, I shouldn't have... All right, fine. You got a deal, Daisy. If I'm in the area, I'll take care of it. Thanks. Hey, while you're there, could you return this book for me? It's from the library. No. Don't even ask how long it's been overdue. Do not put that in my inventory, you little piece. All right, fine. I will take care of that quest if I'm in the area. Maybe. All right. The weapons vendors here at the front door have sold me some things to make this scope for my shotgun. So I got the scope again. Hopefully I don't die before I can put it to good use. And now we have the opportunity to walk around Good Neighbor. Where is Imogene? Down at the bar, right? Somewhere around here. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Pleasure to meet you, Ham. Your name is Ham. Enjoy your stay. Okay, nothing to say about that. Oh, you mind if I take... You do mind if I take that. Never mind. Down into the third rail we go. This place seems to be a a real bustling hotspot. This place, lots of people down here. Buddy, I need to be a lot more. Well, this is new. Typically, when you're in a conversation, it helps if you respond. Go away! You know Imogene Cabot. Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Having 
haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Thank you. Yo, Magnolia. Hmm? What's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. It, the song was fine. I wanted to talk to you. Hmm. Well, I thought that's what we were doing. Now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, it's your hands. They move even when you aren't thinking, right? Quick on the draw. That's me! <laughs> so what brings a man like you to my part of town? I woke up here, just me in my underwear, and a little regret. <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of a great song. I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Looking for a little lady named Imogene Cabot. But I was wondering if you and I could get to know each other better, because, you see, I'm all by myself exploring this town. It's just not right for a guy like me to be by myself. Who knows what dangers could be around every corner? I need a big, strong woman by my side. Oh, really? Go on. You and me, walking under the streetlights, getting shot by raiders. And then what? And then we get jumped, and one of us dies, and one of us gets looted, their corpse is looted. Maybe I wear your red dress for the rest of the game? Hmm, I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. I can't believe that actually worked. Hold her up, or forever hold your damn mouth shut. Shut up, you robot. Can't you see I'm trying to score? I haven't been out on the town in too long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first love is always going to be the stage, though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. I'll see you around, good neighbor. When I'm up there singing, mm, I'll be thinking of you. Mm, don't worry, girl. This isn't about love. Oh, wait, before you leave... I have to head... No, stop, stop! I'll see you around, good neighbor. Uh, now that we've had sex, I need to ask you about my quest. I'm sorry. I have to go. You take care. Okay, I guess I'll talk to you back in the third rail. Maybe you'll be a bit more talkative then. Did we just have sex on those two dirty mattresses? That's gross. You probably gotta check yourself for that. What? No. It can't. It... it, it it's you! From Sanctuary Hills, right? It's me! Oh, uh, you're that guy from vault in the very beginning of the game, who got blasted with radiation, and then I guess you became a ghoul. I am... Voltec, 20 years of loyal service, and now look at me. I wasn't on the list. But you, look at you. 200 years, and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? Cryogenesis. Also, I have my skin exfoliated on a regular basis. It really just does wonders. You should try it. Well. <sighs> I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. It's been 200 years. You would think you'd have come to terms with that by now. You know, you're the only other person I met from before. I, uh... I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement. Once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Now, I'm not one to tell you how to live your life. But once the world ended, you probably shouldn't have been trying to improve your vault tech sales experience. Probably should have tried to pick up other skills. It's not on me. It's on you. Go to Sanctuary. That's where I would go if I were you. Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. Yeah, that's my base of operations. It's quite far away, but i probably stop by there a couple times before I'm done here. Now, where did my lovely little lady go? Here she is. Maybe she's being oh, a little... Oh, it's you again. What can I do for you? Be quiet. Something I can do for you, handsome? Yes. How about, uh, you tell me about Emogene Cabot? Emogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? I'm an associate, I suppose you could say. Her family is worried about her. She's gone missing. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. 
She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Well, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to guard that body. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? What's, what's he got to do with this? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Emma Jean. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Emma Jean was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tax. Thank you. Mm, well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Evan Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. All right, that is a lead that I can follow up on. Thank you, Magnolia. You are my favorite person named after a flower. Better sell some to Daisy before someone swipes it. And thank you too, Ham. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. You are my favorite person named after a pork byproduct. Actually, before I head out, I'm very thirsty. I'm also very tired. I need something to drink. Yeah. I hope Buy you find him. Give me something clear and translucent to satiate my thirst. That's not vodka. Now that you're licking up, got a proposition for you. I didn't buy nothing. I need a dirty boy to do some dirty, dirty work. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground, that kind of thing. Interested? Well, I am a little low on caps. I got a certain anonymous client who's paying top dollar for a clean-up job. Three locations. Everyone inside. No witnesses. It's random murder? Uh, I'm not above random murder. <laughs> you better. Now go out there and bust some heads. Depending on who you're sending me to go kill, I'll be able to track him down and kill him. But first, I have two issues I need to take care of. I'm thirsty and I'm tired. I need to go track down Imogene. So I guess more than two issues. I would like to rent a room, please. Come back when you have the money. Damn it. Damn it! Ah, fine. And back out into the hell that is the wasteland. Let's not get too distracted. We gotta go north. Super mutants. Yep, avoiding that. Avoiding that and heading north. Must be getting close, close to Imogene. Who are you? Hello? N not hostile. Here to learn about our movement? No, I'm looking for Imogene Cabot. Do you know her? Oh, Imogene, yeah. You'd better talk to Brother Thomas about that. Okay, I'll do that, wherever he is. Whoever he is. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? Oh, I bet you're gonna tell me. We call ourselves the Pillars of the Community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. I'm not really here to join your cults. I'm looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Uh, is she okay? Is she here to join? Actually, she and I are, you know, romantically involved. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. Well, you say that, but I really need to talk to her. You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No. She's not a prisoner. She's just locked in her room until she calms down. She was acting crazy, threatening to run off. You know how women can get. So she's not a prisoner, but you've imprisoned her? I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. I said she wasn't seeing anybody. 
including you. I'm just throwing out options here. I need to go see her. All right, Brother Thomas. I, uh, I'm ready to join your cult. Well, that's just fantastic. I know you're going to fit right in around here. I'm always excited to welcome a new member into our fold. Yes. Oh, not more excited than I am. All righty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job, getting to welcome new members into our movement. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own, and I'll initiate you as a first-level pillar of the community. I'm not really ready to give up everything I own. The first step is the hardest, neighbor. But it's the only way to cast off your old life and start on the road towards your future health, wealth, and happiness. Don't you think that's worth a small temporary sacrifice? I I've changed my mind. I don't trust you. No, sorry. I'm afraid we're past that point. You really do need to give me everything. Now. I'll give you everything, one bullet at a time. That's not how this works. He's a threat to the community. Well, I tried. Can't say I didn't try, because I tried. Hey, hey, stop shooting me through the window. Knock it off. Out oh, oh, God. Oh, God. That didn't work out well. Well, we tried doing this the peaceful way. You guys didn't make it easy for me, though. So we're doing it the violent way now. Oh, yeah, charging at me with your melee weapons. That'll work. That'll really work. Too bad you gave up all your possessions, otherwise you'd have something to fight against me with. Hello, Brother Thomas. Goodbye, Brother Thomas. I will take the key off your dumb corpse, and I'm taking Imogene back whether she likes it or not. Yo, Imogene. What's up? What's good? Don't tell me. Jack sent you. So you're Jack's sister. I was expecting someone younger by his description. Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack's got a serum that reverses aging. It really isn't any of your business. And I know it was Jack who sent you. He's always trying to control me. Well, I murdered your boyfriend, so let's go. Thomas? He wasn't my boyfriend. We had some fun together, that's all. Besides, he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Okay, and I also need a drink, and also to take all of this good stuff in here. But it looks like that rescue mission went a lot better than the last one. We succeeded. She's not dead. Yeah, compared to that small child that we were supposed to rescue, this quarry has actually survived our rescue attempt. So good! That's a good day. Next time, we'll go back to Cabot House, follow up on that quest, talk to Edward and Jack and all those folks, and see if we can't make more inroads, more progress towards a Charisma bobblehead. And then if there's some extra time, we'll be able to do some other quests around here, because there were a lot of quests down there in Good Neighbor. But for now, I'm tired, I'm peckish, I'm really thirsty, and I need to go to bed. So, good night.